returning from the red light district, he is Dirty Dick Riley. Well, Merlin, that is how to make an entrance the current IWGP Junior Heavyweight Champion. Entering chaos in style. Well, I'm glad we got up to go and watch that. They've put us in a really awful place where we couldn't have seen it otherwise. <laughs> I mean, logistics. Logistics happen. Them uh, umbrellas are uh, hopefully going to be used. It's been a bit wet and wild out there. And talking of wet and wild, we've got uh, Dick Riley in the ring. Uh, oh, come on. It's cheap, but you know. It's like being with Maltman. All right, stop to say things that we can't take back. Um, look, Sorry. Let's get down to business here, Merlin. I know that me and you have some fun and games, but this is one of the most hotly anticipated contests in chaos. Well, in recent history, let's not downplay it. Dick Riley has been somewhat of a breakout star. It's certainly in terms of exposure this year. He has wrestled the best in the world here in Bristol and continue such a trend here going one-on-one -on -one with the villain in Martin Skull. Both men here. A little bit of a feeling out process. That's nice wrist lock control from Riley early on. I think Martin Skull efficient technical wrestler likes to uh, play that cross face chicken wing as well as uh, maybe a little bit of small joint manipulation with them finger snaps 
as he beautifully rotates and escapes that wrist lock into one of his own, into a handlock, into a headlock takedown. And Dick Riley here, not to be outshone there, returning the favor, and both men back to their feet. Most of Dick Riley's career has been as part of a tag team, and it's only in the last year or so that he's really been wrestling in singles contests, but he's really come into his own, I feel. Yeah, and I, and I agree. The, the, the caliber of, of opponents has definitely increased with him. He's, he's going from bigger to bigger. Obviously, he had Pete Dunne in a one-on-one -on -one contest at Coalition of Chaos, uh, previously Mike Bailey as well. Um, There's Paul London, Joey Ryan, Nixon Newell. It's a who's who in like people who are considered the best in the world. Spot on, and, and he is a man that does not back down from a fight, and fights is what he's going to have on his hands here. Marty looking for the uh, leapfrog, but decides to go a little bit more um, bird style, I guess. You can hear the whoops ringing out here is Dick Riley. Oh, he caught him that time. That's even that drop kick and. You know, we spoke about the caliber of opponents that Dick Riley's faced, but it's interesting to point out that he has not had a victory since earlier on in the year, I believe. Since February, yeah. And, and that's the one thing missing from his game as he outfoxes Skull there, but... Oh, Brownie goes into that net breaker. And, and that's the one thing, like I said, I think that he is missing to take the next step. It's one thing of wrestling high caliber opponents, but if you want to take the next step up to that level, you have to be able to beat them. And, you know, he's got a difficult, difficult task on his hand here. I mean, as we mentioned earlier again, Marty, the current IWGP Junior Heavyweight title, a title that's been held by the types of Jujun Funder Liger, uh, excuse me, Jujun Funder Liger, and, Tiger Mask for us. Oh, Marty, just be friendly. Friendly. Yes, that was... Um, I'm sure that's something polite in Japan. I, I, I believe that's how they greet you know, everyone in Cambridge, I believe. Um, you probably know better than me as Marty <laughs> telling Dick to... Uh, yep, that. And he's got him sat down here and... Keep your eyes on Marty. Oh, running chop. Right across the chest. With Dick Riley, but it is a question I ask for you, Merlin. Is is what will a victory do for Dick Riley over someone of the caliber of Marty Skrull here? I think it'll give him far more exposure than he's had before. You know, a win over the current IWGP champion, junior heavyweight champion, I should say. Oh, and. Well, he might have exposure, he might have eyes on him, and Dick definitely had his eyes on Skrull there, catching Marty with that super kick on the outside. Dick Riley is extremely talented and extremely entertaining, there's no denying that. The Chaos fans love Dick Riley. They always say, we love Dick. That's their favorite thing to say. Uh, <laughs> and... It's kind of surprising that he hasn't actually had that many wins. Oh! Well, if he's... I think it's truly down to the caliber of his opponents rather than his own actual talent. Maybe if he wasn't taking on IWGP Junior Heavyweight Champions, he'd win more. But the old saying goes, and I think I said this last month at Coalition of Chaos, is that... The Steel sharpens steel, metal sharpens metal, and the only way that you get better in this sport is by wrestling the best. And you mentioned exposure and all eyes on him, and that's all it takes is one victory, you know, in, in, in professional wrestling that, that maybe makes people see you in a different light and maybe opens opportunities up for you. I mean, again, to Riley's credit, he's gone from wrestling the WWE United Kingdom champion to wrestling New Japan's IWGP Junior Heavyweight Champion and back to Bath Monks, you know. There's not many men, even at the top of the game, that could handle that. And what he does need to get a handle on is this match. As 
We've seen this from Skrull over the years, just likes to dissect his opponents limb by limb as Marty here maybe looking for a figure four leg lock, can't quite get it in. Riley blocking it so far, but there it is. That is one, mo one of the most painful moves in professional wrestling, just your shin bones grinding into one another as the pressure comes down. And this is Marty's MO, he likes to grind his opponents down, dissect them limb by limb. An opportunist fighter, whatever situation's in front of him, he will take advantage of it. And he is taking advantage so far of Riley in this contest. The only thing that can hurt your shins more than that figure four for Marty Skull is sitting front row at Pro Wrestling Chaos. Popularity of uh, Dick Riley, <laughs> you can probably hear. They love Dick here. Everyone in Bristol loves Dick. We, we, we. Oh well. Oh, the train leaving the station, but but hitting a bit of a bump on the tracks as Marty runs into that boot from Riley. This girl going in again and eats another one. And this is. A chance for Riley to maybe get some oxygen back in that lungs, maybe settle a little bit, get some adrenaline pumping. This is keeping Skrull at bay. Well, if at first you don't succeed, pick yourself up and try again. Insecurity from Riley. Sweep of the leg. Boot on press from the second. Riley into the cover. Oh, only a two in there is that explosive offense that Riley has. That is why he is the talk of the town here in chaos. At any given moment, he can explode with a flurry of offense. Maybe looking for a double underhook there, but Skrull has him scouted. Has both legs, sends him in, slingshot. Riley has it scouted onto the bot rope, into the second, backflip onto his feet. Catches him, standing oh. Spanish flying barely, but it's good enough. Come on! And only a two. And the rotation on that Spanish fly was so low to the canvas. Dangerous move from Riley. I apologize, I got a little bit overexcited there. Well, if Marty Skrull was wondering why everyone's talking about Dick Riley, he's probably no longer wondering because he's seen it up close and personal as these two men, these two competitors, just slugging it out, firing off shot after shot. Beating the chest. Oh, and a big four off for Riley. Oh, big European uppercut. Whiplash effect on the jaw, but Riley not standing on ceremony, fires back with his own forearm into the broke. Oh! Oh, I hate the cliche, but I'm going to use it. Vintage Marty's girl. Oh, but vintage Dick Riley super kick into a clothesline from Skull. Proud of yourself? No, I am not. Oh, well, Skrull, you know what could be coming. He's calling for it, Merlin. But Riley has his scouting into the roll up, too. And, oh. Well. Casual, nice, but into a cover. Both men here trying to jockey for position. And oh, Riley using his leg strength there, spins him round. Skrull on top. Nice to see Hugh getting some cardio in there. Nice workout for our referee. Well, we've seen the chicken wing put away some serious competition. Riley had it scouted and 
crashes his foot into the back of the head of Skull with that insecurity there. This is one of the most impressive outings that I've seen. Whoa! I have just, just as I was saying how impressive Dick Riley has been in this match. Second rope sky twister press. Oh dear. Well, Riley might want to be going to his doctor in the morning because Skirl is waiting for it. Oh. oh! The gentleman in the back row just turned to us to shush us. It's, it's, it never stops being one of the most sickening noises I've ever heard in my life. One more time, these people are feral. I hope Marty made a wish with that. Oh, but Riley! Oh, and this is an advantage that Riley has. There is plenty of exposure for Skirl. He would have been doing his scouting, but oh, well, that's why they call him the villain. And I was just about to say, but Hugh, ever the hero, <laughs> noticed it. Not all heroes wear capes, some of them wear stripes. Oh, good officiating from referee Hugh there, seeing that the villain's ropes on that second rope and oh and Marty no one home on that one Riley up to the top rope diving ace crusher from Dick Riley oh fingertips away Dick Riley has come so close so many times to pinning the IWGP Junior Heavyweight Champion. Yeah, and the only thing that is eluding him is that punctuation mark, that finishing touch as he goes for a Phoenix Splash. Is no. there anything Dick Riley can't do? He has literally thrown everything at him, but there it is! No! Crossface chicken wing! It is in deep in the center of the ring! And Dick and Riley taps out! There are some things that are just and unavoidable. Submission, Marty if you wrestle Marty Skull, you're going to get put in that chicken wing. Well, a wise man once said, I don't fear the man that has mastered 1,000 kicks. I fear the man that has mastered one kick 1,000 times. And that chicken wing has got the job done once again for the IWGP Junior Heavyweight Champion, but Merlin. Dick Riley, again, month after month, continues to impress, but month after month, that victory eludes him. Dick Riley has taken part in WWE tryouts as recently as last month, I believe. And it is well deserved. What's up, Bristol? You having a good time? Yeah. Me too. <laughs> well, guys, you know, my schedule this year. Hello? <laughs> As I was saying. My schedule this year has been really, really busy. It's took me all over the world. But the UK is where I applied my trade for many, many years. Wrestling in places like Chaos. Wrestling in front of fans like you. So any chance I get to come back and perform for you people, I always do because you're always such a treat to wrestle in front of, so thank you guys. As for you, Dick Riley. You mean him, right? <laughs> you know what? I love him too, I think we can all agree, that was one hell of a contest! Dick, 
Somebody told me that you had a tryout last week for the WWE. Congratulations, but if you ask me, you shouldn't be trying out for anything because you deserve a damn job in this business. And you have, without a shadow of doubt, earned my respect. Put it there. I'll tell you one thing. One second. Just remember that Dick Riley and definitely Marty Scurll, we always come first. <laughs>